In this video, I will be using the 3.6 Ohmstrom structure of complement C4, accession ID 4FXK, to demonstrate the use of IMDFF to interactively explore and correct register errors in low resolution structures. I'm focusing on the CUB domain, where four beta strands are out of register. I'm starting from the original coordinates and maps generated after recalculating a simplified TLS only B factor model. Right now we're looking at the C-terminal end of the first out-of-register stretch, which has been thrown out by fitting of an ideal alpha helix where there is actually a two-residue outfolding. As we trace back through the chain, we see that the nearest beta strand actually looks quite reasonable, and signs of error mostly appear in the flanking loops. Signs of error include underfilled density around a serine residue, a phenylalanine outside of density, two acids in somewhat hydrophobic environments, and signs of overpacking at the end terminus of the next beta strand back. While the task of repairing this region could readily be broken down into smaller pieces, for demonstration purposes I'm going to correct it in one continuous interactive simulation using a combination of manually applied and scripted helper forces. The simulation can be paused at any time to take stock, save snapshots, or as I'm doing here, define tasks for the helper scripts. In this case I'm defining this short region as an alpha helix and the simulation will continue pushing towards this confirmation until I tell it to stop. Next I'm going to select an atom from the adjacent beta strand and ask the simulation to move the whole strand two residues towards the C terminus. The extent of the strand is automatically detected and biasing forces are added to the C alpha and beta atoms to guide them towards their target. As before, these forces will remain active until disabled, allowing me to focus on interactively adjusting that C terminal region. Note that chirality and peptide bond geometry are restrained to natural states and the surroundings are fixed in space, so no matter how aggressively I pull, I can't make too much of a mess. You may have noticed the colours of C alpha atoms changing from blue to white to red. This is a real time track of the Ramachandran status of each residue, with red being an outlier, white allowed, and blue preferred. You can also see the secondary structure updating in real time, which I find to be a very useful indicator of progress. If we look back at the C-terminal end of the helix, we can see a much improved fit and everything looks reasonable as we head towards the end terminus. The beta strand has mostly settled itself and all I need to do is readjust a few side chains. The preceding loop, of course, isn't so happy because it needs the next beta strand to shift before it can be refitted. This is simply a further application of the same essential methods using scripted forces to push the register shift while manually adjusting the surroundings that provides a particularly useful illustration of how the IMDFF environment allows the user to very rapidly trial a wide range of alternative confirmations, testing them in real time not only against fit to the data, but also against physical fit to their local environment and the likelihood of their backbone configurations. The molecular dynamics simulation is constantly reimposing physicality onto the structure even after the application of very large steering forces and explicitly prevents atomic overlaps. The result of this is that many tasks that would previously require many menu driven steps to first impose a new configuration and then clear the clashes and other non-physical confirmations that result can now be accomplished by simply pulling on key atoms much as one would handle a real world object. The remainder of this video tracks the remodeling of this and the remaining two out of register beta strands. While I have accelerated and trimmed the playback, the real world time for inspection and interactive remodeling of these four strands was a little over 30 minutes. This was all run on the 2011 model 8 core Xeon workstation, with molecular dynamics performed by NAMD using the compute capability of a newer NVIDIA Titan X GPU. In total, the simulation contains 6,335 atoms, including all hydrogens. To work through this entire 1,638 residue structure from end to end using overlapping IMDFF simulations takes approximately half a day on this machine. 